he's like, yep, right, right here, right here. This sounds like a good place. I want to take a dump. What you're going to hear about today is nothing short of a miracle. Hello, everybody. Welcome to Pub Stomp, a podcast about games, TV shows, movies, and pop culture in general. Every episode, we discuss topics that we find interesting. Come join our shenanigans. Hey, welcome to another episode of Pub Stomp Podcast. Today, we're going to be talking about a movie that shaped our childhood. Maybe it didn't, maybe it didn't, but it's about Tom and Jerry, 2021. Oh, what a movie. What a movie. Anyway, what's up, Tyler? Hey. What's up, Maxi? Yo, yo. <laughs> oh, I'm too excited to talk about this, man. Ah, but first, man, apparently there was some rocket shaped like a penis. <laughs> penis. <laughs> that Tesla? No, not Tesla. What, what's who, who launched? Who launched? SpaceX. I mean, SpaceX. Basically, Close SpaceX. Enough. Look, man, they, they all blend in Bitcoin, Tesla, SpaceX, the same company now, you know? Yeah, man. And, with, now. and with Elon Musk, if you tweet him, I bet he'll make it look like a dick. Exactly. <laughs> so apparently they launched a rocket, and it, uh, the pictures I see is of an exploding rocket, but it says successful on the headline. So mixed mixed uh, signals there, man. I don't know what actually happened. Tyler, what will happen, man? <laughs> well, I'm not an expert. <laughs> oh, you are but, an expert now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm our expert, but it doesn't yeah. mean I'm an expert. Uh, basically, it was a flight test, I think, to 10 kilometer, kilometers. Uh, hmm? like six miles or something. So it's just a flight up and then um, come back down and land, which okay. is really cool. If you watch the video, we'll put the link in the description. Uh, the way it falls is different than the other SpaceX rockets. Cause it, it falls on its side. It looks sick. And they got the a drone. They got drone footage. that was like really close and it, it was awesome to watch. Go ahead. What was it? What did you say? Does it fall in an explosion matter? Because all I see in this picture is fire. <laughs> yeah, so. Well, the thing is, it exploded after the fact, and I don't actually know why oh, yet. I haven't okay. read it. But it, it flew up to 10 kilometers, uh, came back down, landed. Um, but I think the landing legs are not final yet. The, the design oh, isn't I see. final. Okay. So the land, something ha- it hit the ground a little harder uh, than they wanted to, but it stayed upright for... It felt like a long time. I don't know. It might have been like five or six minutes, something like that. And then, and then it exploded because something got damaged. <laughs> yeah, Dude, it was, the explosion like, was awesome. <laughs> I mean, I bet. But so, what do you do? Like, if you're testing this, how do you know when it's safe to go and like fetch the rocket? Like, do you just leave it there, spray it with water, like a uh, firework that didn't go? Like, what well, do you I think, do? I think the the what what they say is it was an ex, it was a successful flight, a uh-huh. successful landing, yeah. more or less. But a, a failed recovery, and it's just it's like part of the process. They yeah, exploded yeah, so yeah. many of the other rockets, so it, it's all it's all good. I'm sure they monitor it, and they like okay. somebody's somebody's saying it's going to explode. It's going to explode. You <laughs> got to show. You got to show out of it. You see a rocket go up in the air and lands, and you're like, yeah, everything went great. Woo! Explosion! NASCAR! Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Michael Bay. <laughs> yeah, Michael Bay. <laughs> Honestly, it's can... the best. It's the best case scenario. Really, they get is. a successful light uh, flight. They get a successful landing and an explosion. And you don't gotta clean it up. You just like it blew up. <laughs> Leave it there. It's fine. Don't worry about it. It'll burn up. Don't worry. Pretty it's just sure rocket gotta... fuel, right? Pretty sure it's you gotta fuel, pick it up. Man. Nah, it's rocket fuel. It's gonna burn everything up, right? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know Where how they... science works. Where are they doing this? California. Uh, that one is Texas, I think. Texas. Oh, yeah. Texas. Hey, my favorite state. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> oh, oh. oh, man. They're opening up <laughs> next week to 100%. Right, Mexico? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they are. <laughs> oh, the governor was like, you know what? We're tired of this. We're opening 100%. You know what? Fauci, we survived. We survived the snow apocalypse. We can yes, survive snow- anything. <laughs> Exactly. <laughs> they survived the snow apocalypse. You know what? Probably the snow apocalypse killed all the Rona. <laughs> so, oh my God, man. Uh, look, yeah, let's not get into politics, but it's like, oh man, we're not there yet, guys. What are you, I don't know. It's, it's interesting times. Yeah, there's... Texas doesn't 
Sorry, God. There's, there's what done that? Go ahead. There's like articles out there explaining like every single time Texas has said, nah, it's all good. You just see the spike go up. So it's like, <laughs> oh, God. I mean, at least, at least Biden has already announced that there's going to be vaccines for all adults, eligible adults by like May. We're going to have, everybody's going to be able to get a chance of, I Amen. mean, if you want to, they can't force people to take the vaccine. I think they should. But I guess they can't. Whoa, bro. Whoa. Uh, yeah, I know, man. I know. It's a touchy subject. I know. Because, I mean, not everybody wants an RFID chip in their in their arm, right? So I don't want to be <laughs> buying Microsoft products all the time. Yeah. Next, a- you're going to force 5G on me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not getting it. I'm not getting any of that. Oh, man. But we'll see. There's a chart for Arizona, I think. I, I, don't, I'm, I don't know the one for my state, but... Maxi knows the one for Arizona. It's, yes, uh, basically yeah. a range of 10, right? So right now it's like 55 to 64. Next month it goes down 10 and then up to May when it's like 16 to 34. And I'm just like, come on, hurry up. <laughs> Please hurry up. Guys. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Dude, I'm going to, if once I get the vaccine, I'm going to try to get a video. It's like, please, guys, let me record this. This is a good moment. <laughs> you want to you wanna be that guy? Yeah, I recorded the the COVID test I did. Oh yeah, that's true. Yeah, it's it's awkward, but it's fine. Like I gotta remember that, man. Because I mean, it it's hurts. So it's so painful. <laughs> it's, it's going so up bad. my nose. Go- you're going in so deep. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> hey man it could be worse All it right. could be sticking it up your ass like china okay? no, <laughs> is that is that more accurate or just trolling people it's like you want to get covid we'll stick up a finger up your butt see how you like that <laughs> for, and, you, and you will just not get covid for honor you know no man you stick your finger up your butt smell it and that's the real covid <laughs> test can, can oh no. <laughs> no 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 no, no. Oh, why does it always go there with us because it's funny. <laughs> um, speaking speaking of poop, how about that Tom and Jerry movie? Oh, oh man, man. Oh, right, so that was a nice segue. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I don't. We don't want to. Sp- we always like poo poo on movies, but this one kind of deserved it. So anyway, we'll go. We'll go deeper. Yeah, this but, one brought us together. Uh, just round the table. Make sure you like this movie. <laughs> <laughs> I can't keep a straight face. I, just gotta... I can't even dignify an answer to no, this. Uh, Tyler, do you want to give an answer? <laughs> I'll say no. No, I but I knew I wasn't gonna like it going in. So you, oh, you knew. I was. I had high hopes, man. I, I was like, it's it could like be the good. Smurf movies and the and the the Chipmunks movies. Didn't they do those? Yeah, the, where they do the live action with the animated. I don't know. Wait, Smurfs did that live action. It. Yeah, man, yeah. they got like two movies. It's out garbage. There. It's always so, garbage. So Space Jam is coming out, and it's gonna oh, be Space like Jam. this, right? And Space Jam was good. It I might be I... the, the that Space Jam might be the only good, well, but even the second Space Jam's gonna suck too. Let's be honest. <laughs> Maybe it could be an age range because my kids were watching it and they were like mesmerized, like oh, because oh, there's, there's stuff happening, happening and you people are getting hit, man. To say that I didn't like this movie is to give it more feelings than it deserves. All right, yeah. So, <laughs> and, okay. So let's let's get into the movie. So I guess the the bit Tom and Jerry like it's a cartoon. There's a cat and a mouse, and all movies like the Coyote and the Roadrunner. So the cat is trying to eat the mouse. The mouse is much smarter, and the cat gets hurt. Right. That's basically the premise. Mm-hmm. When they made a movie, that was. Tom and Jerry, but really it was a love story, and it had Tom and Jerry in it. Like that's kind of like what it felt like, right? Am I am I am I wrong? Yeah, Tom was all cat? over that yeah. cat. <laughs> Tom. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, my boy, my boy Tom. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> or the 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 white. Oh, cat, you're you're, the... you're you're talking about the people. Talking about the people. Oh, yeah. my no, bad, no, no. my bad. No, yeah, the, the the Indian white couple. I like how they did like mixed race. Like, yeah, yeah. Let's let's bring some wokeness to this movie. Yeah, let's yeah. Woken Jerry up in here. Woken Jerry. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, so yeah, that's what I felt like. It was like two 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 plots. Like it was like okay, we gotta have Tom and Jerry, that same thing, and then like a love story on the side. Sir, there like, was three the, three plots. Three stories. Oh, three plots. Oh, snap. There's the girl trying to get redemption for being a screw up apparently in life. That's right. The <laughs> then there's a wedding, and then it's Tom and Jay. 
Yeah, the main character, Kayla. And Tom and Jerry yeah. is at the bottom of the list of importance in this movie, apparently. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, okay, so I know... Th- so this is my thing, okay? I let Mexi's shtick is to shit on movies. My stick is like... <laughs> When people of the wrong of races speak weirdly, so Michael <laughs> Pena, the actor, he's is he's Mexican, right? Like, yes. I don't, can I say this this time? Is he Mexican this time? Yes. What accent did they give him? Was he supposed to be French? <laughs> yeah, I was like, this guy is clearly brown, no. and he plays the brown character on all the movies that he's in. But I think they made him. I, I think they made him I Mexican. They asked him. They asked him to just overdo his accent, his existing accent. That's what it seemed like. I don't think like, he oh, has an accent. Ac- but it, but does, it, does he not? No. He, like he kinda, in real life, he, he kind of has that accent in in a lot of the roles he plays. Yes, mm-hmm. because that is the uh, role he plays. But then he was, but it wasn't like a, as a Mexican accent. It was something else. No, it was like uh, a Mexican, I, I, Spanish. Like I feel Mexican. like they told him to turn it up. Do what you do in the other movies, but just. But just turn Times it up that more. shit by 10. Turn that to 11. <laughs> I was like, dude, yeah. come on. Like, guys, like, come on, man. I know we need representation, but it's like, guys, this does not look good, man. Like, like no, when, I know. Yeah, when I was watching it, I was like, is that French? Are you trying to act like you're French? Yeah, like, also, like, yeah <laughs> too. Like, like refined or like some other like more exotic accent. But there's like, that sounds Mexican, but like weird. It's like, like trying to be fancy know, Mexican. It was really weird. You just turned it but, up too high. That's all you did. Yeah, you went too high. You exaggerated <laughs> the accent. So I don't know, man. That was like, you know what, guys? Please. I know I like representation of my co- my people, you know, but it's like, it just doesn't seem right. Yeah. <laughs> Minus points for that. And they made him the bad guy too. F*** you guys. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right. Anyway, so Tom and Jerry, the stars of the show. Yep. <laughs> I thought it was. Yeah. I thought. I thought like the. Uh, if they would have just made a cartoon with like. It doesn't with, work. Uh, what's it, like, it doesn't work, right? It doesn't work. It's too long. Like an hour and a half of Tom and Jerry tomfoolery. <laughs> yeah. It's just, just. It's just too long. Like. It, it wasn't, wasn't even. It was two hours almost too. Yeah, yeah, and it wasn't. They weren't even doing that much stuff because they were. They showed a little bit of that clip when they were in the the mouse. The what is it called? What, the mouse is Tom. No, Jerry. 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 Jerry's, on, yeah. Jerry's in the. Jerry's in the, in the hotel, and Tom is going up the building outside in the rain, trying to get into the hotel. Mm-hmm. That repeated like that's kind of like the normal cartoon flow, but it works in cartoons because they're. But it doesn't work in the movie because it was jumping. Jump cutting like him trying to get over that wire a bunch of times, mm-hmm. and that was a little f- weird. I don't know. Uh, I feel like the Tom and Jerry stuff was true to the older cartoon yeah. or the original cartoons. It, it seemed like it, but okay. Stupid question: Why can't Tom and Jerry speak, but all the other animals can? I know. I don't not know, not all the other animals can. The fish didn't no. speak. The other the cat. Fish didn't, the other cat didn't. Speak. And the elephants didn't, right? No, the elephant. No, no, the elephant did speak. The yeah. elephant speak. Yeah. The elephant spoke. Oh, yeah. I missed that. Yeah. Wow. I, I said mouse. Oh, mouse. Yeah. <laughs> but like what, what, what? What determines if they can speak or not? I think it's just timelessness. You know, like if you have a voice, it's. Uh, just... No, no, no! It's the Barbera guy. What's well, his name? Hannah Barbera, Barbera, <laughs> whatever. It's uh-huh. the whoever made this thing. They decide. <laughs> it's so weird. I don't know. And that that part bothered me. I, I think it's staying. They try to stay true to the original. I don't know. They, uh, it seems like it was extremely violent. <laughs> like, I don't know. Like, I know Tom and Jerry, they beat each other up. That's like the thing. But it seems, they, they I don't know if it's because yeah, I'm older is... now or if it's more of it. Like you said, it's just like, like longer. So it's just constant. But man, here we, like, no, here that's, we go. that's normal. We're that's gonna Tom start, and Jerry normal stuff. Yeah. We're going to start canceling Tom and Jerry. Oh, <laughs> oh no. <laughs> They already did Dr. Zeus. Ah, ah. Just kidding. It's not canceled. It's false information. It's fine. You can still get, get their books. But yeah, that's that's normal Tom and Jerry. They beat each other up all the time. What yeah. I didn't like is when that girl participated in the beating up Kayla. All right. Mm-hmm. She kicked the she kicked the, the, the animal like, That's not nice. Oh really? That's yeah. The, yeah, like that humans never hurt animals in the cartoon. Just saying. Yeah, well, like, somebody somebody kicked him out when his head was stuck under the ground. <laughs> oh yeah, that's dude. right. I was like, Whoa, somebody kicked was, him. Yeah, yeah, that was that was not nice. Not a good humans sign, don't. Yeah. yeah, humans don't hurt animals. Only animals hurt animals. Yeah, man. This is real yeah, life, so, right there. Okay. 
I will say <laughs> probably the coolest part for me, at least, was the Rube Goldberg machine that the cat made. Oh, I like that too. Hated that. <laughs> so I hated that so much. You hated that. I liked it. I thought it was like that is that uh, was... the essence of uh, Tom and Jerry, like overly yeah, complicated cool. traps to get. Yeah, that that was. Uh, I think that was the only thing that I liked about this movie. <clears throat> I liked that it uh... ended. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, man. I, I know. It was, look, I'll I'll say it was my pick of a movie. I thought it was thought the... better. <laughs> yeah. We we forgive you, or we will forgive you. You owe us. Put it down. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Now you gotta watch all the Marvel movies. <laughs> now, <laughs> what this this bed sucks. <laughs> um, I I did like the mixture of animation, like uh, like see? sometimes it was cool. Like when he was holding that the the piano or not the piano keyboard keyboard. Uh-huh. That was pretty cool. Like the keyboard looked real, and he was very animated. Oh, I thought it was pretty neat. See, I hated that too. Why? Yeah. Why do you hate that? <laughs> because older movies did it better. Like Who Framed Roger? What older movies? Like Who Framed Roger Rabbit had the animated characters and like real people, and like yeah. they mixed the two together way better than this movie did it. Or mm. Space Jam. Space Jam did it way better than these guys did. Ah, uh, Space Jam's way better. Uh, but I wonder. Yeah, I, I, I just know. hated the the uh, the animation style. I was just like, it just looks. Bad. It was a, yeah. It was there was a lot of CG, right? Like I mean, it ha- I mean, of course, obviously, right? But it <laughs> right. was it was strange. It was but like I guess it didn't it, look if, good compared to Space Jam. It didn't it didn't flow. You could like kind of believe that it was there, but yeah. here you knew that it was like they're holding nothing or like uh, uh, yeah, there was something strange about it. It, it. Overall, I agree, but I think sometimes it shined. I don't know. I liked when he was holding the the keyboard and it looked real. Yeah, yeah I thought that was cool. But other than that, yeah, eh, sometimes it was weird. I, I think that. it's because it wasn't a cartoon. They weren't cartoons. They were like, yeah, they were three D models, three right? D models, mm-hmm. right? Yeah. And like, they, yeah. it's not the Tom and Jerry that I grew up with. So some something about that just irked me. I think I don't know. I don't. Yeah, I think that's I, what it is. Yeah, because I I really want like I, I mean I watched Tom and Jerry. I didn't. I never wanted to watch it, but it was on TV, so I guess I would watch it, and I would just sit there, and it would and it was fine. There was no dialogue. You would just watch the cat get beat up, and it was funny. <laughs> and then I wanted to like kind of relive that moment with my kids, you know. I take and it I back. Like, Sorry, I just thought <laughs> of something. Ahead. I just yeah, realized that Tom does talk in the movie. He sings. But, yes, he? he sings. Yeah. Okay, that's not talking. And the cat and but, his angels and devils talk. But the angels uh, and devils are not Tom. They're Tom. They always they're talk. They always, of, they always talked in the cartoon too. So yeah, that's but that's fine. like a personification of this. Look, man, I'm just saying. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Fine. Continue. Sorry. He does have. He does have a conscience. So this conscience does speak to him. Okay, but it's not. He cannot speak. He can sing. And that's it. But yeah. anyway, yeah. I. I. That's what I wanted to relive. I wanted to. And like go back and you know what else bugged me <laughs> tell us what else bugged you I, i'm not <clears throat> i'm not sure if this was supposed to be like an origin story like this is tom and jerry this is how they met or whatever or if this just is like a continuation of the old tom and jerry stuff because like to me i was like how do you guys know you're tom and jerry like what, what's going on here why is this rat being mean to the cat like What's happening here? I don't think it was an origin story. I think no. it's always been like they kind of hate each other. So I mean, you if you watch the cartoon, they right the cat wants to re- wants to quote unquote eat the rat, but he doesn't actually. He has so many chances to do it, and he doesn't do it. Right, because they're buddies, they're man. Because they're, yeah, buddies. they're they, friends. Yeah, they loosely explained it too in the beginning because yes. he was playing on the piano. He was playing on the keyboard when they met, and it his sign said uh, said Tom the cat or something, and then when the when Jerry was dancing, he put a sign over the over his sign over Tom's sign that said Jerry. Right, um, right. But my question is like, were they supposed to be friends at that point already, or was like yeah, yeah. that that was never clear to me if they knew each other before that or not. And then and then how did she find out his name? Like the other characters, because <laughs> Tom told Tom told her his name by blowing up the balloon thing yeah, out of yeah, his the gloves balloon, or whatever yeah, his hand yeah or his hand yeah I, what that was weird but uh but, Tom, oh, jerry but, jerry, gave, but jerry never did did he yeah he gave her a card 
Oh, he did. Yeah, oh, I did. I, he did give her a card. Okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. And he, it even smelled. Ooh, fancy. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, fancy. Yeah, because he stole all the mm-hmm. cologne from all the other guests in the hotel. Yeah. The, I thought the door was ridiculous too. Like, how is there a door on the bottom of the? What's it called? <laughs> oh, the old spinning door. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. And the, the hotel that had a policy for no animals had a little yeah. mouse-sized <laughs> door. Yeah. So this is another thing that really, really bugged me. It's like, why were all the animals cartoons? Like, it's just like, it doesn't fit to me. What do you mean it doesn't fit? Uh, whole, whole no, because when they're cooking food, you can see like animated like legs of animals like hanging from the butcher, like a butcher shop and shit. Oh, <laughs> fish? Like yeah. some of the fish were animated and some weren't. Yeah. That was weird. Yeah, see? It's okay. consistent. It just bugs me, man. Oh, oh, I did have a favorite part in the whole movie, and it's oh, like snap. it's the most hilarious thing to me is when at the end of the movie, um, she's with the other guy who's the bartender, and they're like they're meeting in the like in the market or whatever, and then yeah. uh, Tom shows up and he just starts like doing miming things, and the guy's like, "How do you know what he's saying? Like, what, what, what do you know? What is going on? What is happening? Like, he just like doesn't understand <laughs> what is happening and how she's able to communicate with Tom." And I was like, "Thank you, thank you for making this, it aware." Oh, that was kind your of meta part. jokes are pretty funny. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I thought it was. I thought it was. I mean, I don't know. I thought it was fine. No, I thought it was great. Yeah. That was a funny scene. <laughs> Cause I would be that guy. I was like, "What is happening?" Like the entire movie is like, "Why can't she? Why can't she talk to him?" Like it doesn't make sense. A points at her and then she repeats a whole sentence, and it's like, "What?" Yeah, exactly. You- oh man, that, I mean, that was funny. Yeah, That's that a funny, funny scene. Uh, so what about like, what about that love? Like, like the there's a couple uh, that's gonna get. I mean, that's gonna get married. She's arranging. Kayla, the main character, is arranging some wedding at that hotel where Tom and Jerry are basically shenanigans. Uh, they were like, they feel like they were trying really hard to make like, because the the bride is that the yeah the bride mm-hmm. was trying really hard to impress the no no the groom was trying really hard to impress the bride by like buying all these animals to show and all these things. They were like, did you feel like they were trying really hard to make like oh we just focus on love and don't focus on the material nah, things? Or, no nah, man oh, what was it wasn't the, that was she was trying to impress the bride he was trying to impress the bride's yeah, dad yeah, that's right dad dad, dad yeah yeah man she was like why don't you go marry my dad it was like whoa whoa <laughs> but yeah um i don't know it was i don't know i felt forced again like there's a lot of plots happening and none of it matters to me <laughs> so three plots that go nowhere Actually, I now yeah. advance it to four plots. Four Ooh. plots? What? What's a four? Because, because the Michael Pena character also wants to be, like, a manager of the, the hotel, right? Like, mm. it, like he slips up and says, like, oh, in my manage, in my office or whatever. So, like... Oh, so, get, oh, so yeah. give us the four plots. So, Go the, mar- the marriage <laughs> thing happening. The marriage, you got it. The love uh, Kayla story. thing happening, who's trying to gain redemption for some reason. She's not good for any job, apparently. Well, she's just like, because she sucks, man. Oh, so God, she God. steals somebody's resume, and then like, now I'm cool. All right, <laughs> okay. Then there's the Michael Pena trying to, you know, take over the hotel, it seems. And then Tom and Jerry. <laughs> In that order. In that order. <laughs> of importance. Yeah, order. Of importance, <laughs> to least important. Yeah, so, yeah, because I... I I don't know. They should have just made a cartoon. Wait, five plots. What? The five oh plots. no! The <laughs> fifth plot is uh is the chef. The chef is trying to get a Michelin star. Oh yes, right. Oh, that guy's right. super selfish. <laughs> <laughs> also, how fragile are chefs' careers? <laughs> he's like, he's like, I'll be on the streets if they find a mouse in my kitchen. I'm like, what? Like. <laughs> no you won't <laughs> you'll be fine <laughs> have you been to new york <laughs> he's a michelin fine. chef <laughs> like what the... yeah man see five plots in this movie bam oh man i could five probably plots. extrapolate more of it you know you could probably get more <laughs> what about that like the the girl they make fun of for just sneaking up on people what is her name? awesome like the awkward uh, what, what is she... 
What does she do? What is her? What would you call her job? Like um, assistant? She was Jilly, assistant? wasn't her name? I don't remember. She was she was like a bell girl. Yeah, like girl. A girl. Door, door girl or bell girl? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Joy the Bell Girl. That's person? what IMDb calls her. Joy the Bell Girl. Are you kidding me? That's what the name, man. Her <laughs> real name is Patsy Ferran. Man. They just call her Joy the. Her parents did her no <sighs> favors. Yeah, I know, man. <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> but anyway, so. Apparently, she yeah, is I... a Spain. Sorry. That's a weird name for Sp- Spanish. Oh, her so real name is Ferran. Patricia. Patricia. <laughs> Patricia, Patricia. I don't mm. know. Not, no, what is that even? I don't know. Whatever. I'm not Spanish. I don't know what what those people think on the other side of the world. <laughs> anyway, anyway, anyway. Love so story. Her character was cool. Yeah. <laughs> no, her character. Yeah, I thought yeah. she was hilarious. Just shows up randomly like. Wah. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, lo- so love story. What was that? What the love story? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's just forced and like. Uh, yeah, it's like a lot of stuff was forced, right? Like, did you need to have all these things? You could have just like had Tom and Jerry beating the crap out of each other for forty five minutes and then call it good. I think my issue with it is like, the guy didn't really seem interested in getting married. Like they do this whole scene where he's like golfing or whatever, and he just seems like self self absorbed, right? Like he's just getting married because he has to or whatever. But like throughout the entire movie, he's kind of like, I really, really want to get married. And like, he does all the, he's basically doing all the planning for the marriage. Right. It's yeah. Kind of like interesting. And then like the, the, the lady, what's her name? Preta or something in this movie. Yeah, like, Preta, yeah. like she does not want to get married at all. Like she loses her ring and she's just like, eh, well, nah. I guess that's it. Oh, no. Yeah. Where's my she's ring? Like, oh, where's I lost my, my ring. My ring. Can like six carat it? diamond ring. Where is that? Like, Jesus, this lady. Yeah. I think it was like a ring pop. It's crazy. <laughs> yeah, it was. I know, right? <laughs> it was like <laughs> massive. Like, yeah. I mean, then, like, when then the, something goes wrong at the actual wedding, she's like, oh, we're calling this off. I was like, ma'am, this guy just bought elephants and brought him into the wedding. <laughs> Even if he went overboard, look, he did this too fast. Lady, you took it too far, too fast. Yeah, you, you need to settle down, <laughs> settle put down, things in, put things into perspective, see where it goes. But, then they got so, married in Central Park with an extremely lavish wedding, in my opinion, as well. Right? <laughs> like, there was nothing <laughs> less lavish about that wedding. There were look, still man, elephants were getting, and stuff. Yeah, these guys are getting elephants in there, so you know what. The moment you have elephants, like you, you can't just be like, "Oh, I wanted a small, cheap wedding." Like mm, you had elephants. <laughs> you had elephants. <laughs> there was there is this really dumb scene, and I don't, it's not a. It was dumb. I'm gonna say it was dumb. Okay. <laughs> the drone? No, no, not the drone. Uh, the drone well, added, that was, that was like, another dumb scene. <laughs> uh, the drone added to the whole like there was drones at the wedding. Yeah, fine. But the one where um after she gets the ring back. It's uh, Kayla and Prita are in the in the the bridal suite or whatever they called it, mm-hmm. and like she comes out with the sari, and I don't know why. Why did she come out with the sari? <laughs> <laughs> it never like cycled back to that. Do you guys not think that was weird? Wait, who comes out with the sari? Kayla. Kayla. That yeah. was why? that was like the scene that they introduced that it was going to be a Indian wedding, wasn't it? Is that the whole purpose of that? Because I thought that was I, I think <laughs> so. Because before that, I didn't realize that it was going to be like an Indian wedding. Hey, Wait, uh, how did you not realize it was? I don't. Know, the they up? said before elephants. That, I think <laughs> Why would you have that, that was before. Yeah, they said elephants. The it's Tom and Jerry. Indian. There's cats and talking dogs, and they beat each other up. Why can't there be elephants? I don't know. Oh, okay, fine, fair, fair, fair. That's fair. fair. <laughs> The dog was cool. I like the dog character. He's always been cool, even in the cartoon. Yeah, man. He's like chill. He's like, I want to go for a walk. I want to go for a walk. Like, and then he takes a massive turd. <laughs> yeah, that, that was hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> it's like right here in the crosswalk. Boom. It's funny because my dog done that before. It's like crossing <laughs> yep, the street. Right, like, bah! right here. Right here. This sounds like a good place. I want to take a dump. Oh, man. The dog, the dog was fine. The cat was fine because the cat was rude, trying to murder Jerry. Right? 
Yeah, and then when she got caught, she's like, oh, nothing, nothing to do here, nothing to see here. It's all good. But yeah, man, it was so I guess was this a kids movie, and we're just trying to like analyze, overanalyze it, or was this like a grown up movie, or was this like somebody else's movie? Like I, I was trying to figure out who was it for. I was gonna ask right? you that as a parent. Cause, yeah, because <laughs> I watched thought, it with I kids, thought, right? Right, because I thought it was gonna be both trying to, because I know that I know like movies like Finding Nemo, they make it appealing to little kids and also for grown ups because they both have to watch it, right? So, mm, bro, you was, can't compare Pixar to everybody else, man. Yeah, yeah but no, that's 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 the that's the what's benchmark, right? That's the benchmark. Have <laughs> I don't know. Movies. That's the bar, man. That's, <laughs> that's the not bar. the benchmark. <laughs> that's the bar. Like, anyways, go on. Uh, uh, yeah, so it's like they make movies like that because they want both people to see it, like people, adults and little kids, right? But this one, I felt like it could have easily easily been both, right? Because uh, I grew up with Tom and Jerry. And I probably have kids, so I would want them to see it. But like Maxi said, they were watching it. But I wouldn't be like, oh, here, watch this movie. It'll be fine. Like, I probably wouldn't. Like, I did because I thought it was going to be better. But if, now that I saw it, I wouldn't be like, here, watch this movie. It's fun. And, you'll, and you're going to take something out of it because there's really nothing for kids there. What was the joke I was telling you earlier, Tyler? That was like, I didn't understand why they threw that in there because it wasn't funny. Oh, wait, here oh. you Oh, the PETA joke. The PETA joke. I remember that. Yeah, PETA joke. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like when they're like, oh, like we can't fire him because we're going to get an equal rights thing. And then PETA's going to be all over us with the cat. Like oh, when they're yeah, fired. Yeah. And I was just like, that's not a funny joke. Like, I don't I don't know who thinks that's a funny joke. If anything, <laughs> that's a racist joke. <laughs> Wait, why is that a racist joke? <laughs> because if you had inserted a race in there, that would have been a racist thing to say. We can't fire this person because they're like ex like. But they had no issues firing the Mexican dude. <laughs> He's not Mexican. He's probably French in the movie, okay? That <laughs> <laughs> oh, is so, so sad. I, look, I, I see him in his face. He's Mexican. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I know, man. I know. Look, he plays the Mexican in all the movies, okay? I know. I know. Okay. I'm just saying. Like, it was like a bad joke. And it wasn't good. It wasn't like... It was a, it was a bad joke, yeah. And maybe they were trying to do that Pixar thing where they're like, oh, look, cartoons for little kids. And here's a love story for, like, teenagers. And then here's, I don't know, Tom oh. and Jerry for the old people. Yeah. It was the most funny thing in this entire movie is when she makes the joke about the goldfish being, like, director of aquatics or something. <laughs> it's like, it was oh, funny. yeah, that was funny. <laughs> That's, that's you thought it was funny? <laughs> that's a funny I joke. Think, I thought it was dumb. I was like, this is dumb. <laughs> that's a funny oh. joke, man. I don't care what you say. I, just, I, thought, I don't know, man. Maybe, I don't, maybe like, your humor is like for little kids, like, but right, I thought that you, was dumb. You, I like... didn't, you didn't understand Tyler's pizza joke from last week, okay? So okay, I don't yeah. want to hear it. You don't understand yeah. comedy. We don't have to pull things from different... Ep- okay, right? I'm going to talk about no, this. No, I like the... Continuity now. <laughs> continuity. I like the copyright joke from the credits. I thought that was good. When he's I didn't like, see like, it. I don't know. Jerry, don't know. Jerry's looking for a house, and his like little realtor friend is like uh, showing him, and he's like, "This would be a great mouse house." And then he's like, "Oh, is that copyrighted?" I thought that was funny. That was a good joke. Yeah, it was like in the first like five minutes. Yeah. Okay. Oh, that was like didn't. at the beginning. I was like, "Oh, this 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 could this could maybe be funny." And this then, could be good. <laughs> yeah, 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 oh, did you know? Yeah. I think they just tried to force it. They just said, "Let's make a Tom and Jerry movie live action or semi live." What is this type of yeah. movie called? Do we know? Yeah, what is this called? It's, it's a hybrid what? movie. Hybrid? No, no, All right. Just make, you just Live action. No, I'm not. So they were just like, let let's make this hybrid <laughs> movie, and then they just try to do like, they just made a list like a list of things to do, and it was just like too long. Like, wh- why were they at the the baseball game? Because somebody was like, <laughs> oh, we gotta a- have them at a Yankee game because they're in New York or something. There's like, a baseball game. Did I fall asleep? Yeah, they went to a <laughs> Yankee game and. Oh, that's right. Because they were when Kayla was like, "Okay, go away. We're gonna have a wedding and go have fun together." Yeah. To and then he like oh. he like caught a home run, and then they kicked him out. You know, they're making fun of like yeah. the, you know the Boston like whatever. <laughs> it was, like, but it was forced. I think a lot of it was forced. I remember the zoo, not the zoo, the um, museum, and that's about it. That's Probably not that's, that's 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 not your guys' fault. That's 
movie's fault. <laughs> yeah. Mean, uh, why, why are you saying it's our fault? I <laughs> take no blame on that. I blame uh, you for making me watch this movie. Look, man. I, I make you watch saying, good things like Godzilla. And this... <laughs> we don't know. We don't know if it's going to be good, okay? We're, we're banking on it being good. We don't know if it's going to be Excuse good. Excuse me, sir. <laughs> Excuse me. I mean, we did saw to? that it had five star, five my, out of ten. I'm out. still out on that one. My jury's <laughs> still out. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still making my way through the movie, so we'll see. But anyway, I guess, uh, like they say on the cartoon, that is all, folks, because we have nothing else to say about this except you guys, really don't waste your time. Did you guys see the post credit scene? No, I did not see it. I kind of was. I barely made it to the credits. Are you kidding? <laughs> was there anything good at the end? No, you just find out that the guy has to pay for both weddings. <laughs> the, oh. the guy who's getting married with is like, oh, we should do this. We should do that. The groom. Yeah. yeah he gets charged for both weddings. I mean, it makes sense. What was the, what, what, I what feel was the like when the girl comes over and is like, hey, man, we can redo this. We got you, homie. There's like an unspoken thing that like, oh, you ruined my last wedding. This is you making it up for it. Nope. Take your money no, twice. How is she going to make up for it? Oh, look, man, it's a movie. She stole I don't, a job. I don't, I, don't, I, don't, I don't. Look, there's talking oh. animals in this movie. All right. You know, <laughs> yeah. you're right. Isn't so the main character Kayla? She's been in other movies that are much more serious, and I feel like her acting was a little bit weird, right? Or is it just it's me? everybody? Just, everybody's acting. Everybody's was acting was bad. Yeah, it's like yeah. over. It was the like top. a Disney. It was like a Disney show, like a like a little you know, like Disney, a yeah. reminds me of like those uh, I forget the name, but like iCarly kind of type of show. That, yeah, that's that what back. I mean. Sorry, not okay. not yeah. Disney, but like yeah the. Like what back in the day, them? Disney. Yeah, I don't know. It's, they're not sitcoms. Teen like, Disney's like, yeah, um, like tweens. Uh, they, they were like Tween tweens. Disney, yeah, yeah. That's I guess maybe that's the audience. With that's the people who would this movie. Oh man, I mean, I don't, I mean this you is... have little, you have nephews, right? They're they're that age, right? Like, I don't think they would watch. Like, this. Just watch this movie and be like, "Is this good?" And be like, "Oh man, ten out of ten. Recommend to all my buddies." Watch parties online, everything. I don't know. <laughs> How about no? Look, I don't care. Whatever. I don't <laughs> care. I'm just disappointed because I was expecting, I was really hoping it would be better. I don't know why. <laughs> because, <laughs> because it's Tom and Jerry, man. Like, what What old cartoon show was good? Johnny Tom Tsunami. and Jerry was. Or movie, Johnny's... sorry. <laughs> old remakes of cartoons that are like. Good. I'm, oh, like okay, Scooby Doo okay. sucked lately. The Smurfs I, sucked. Yeah. I guess you know. I was just so every movie that's tr- every hybrid movie that's tried to do it recently has has been pretty bad. The Smurfs one and the Chipmunks one. I didn't watch any of those, so maybe that's why. You know, you guys could have stopped all this. Like, like look, man. Oh man, you, you were like, you were excited, man. You were like, I was. I was like, hey. <laughs> Life, Tom and Jerry. Life is gonna be go. good. I mean, we didn't know it was bad until until we knew. <laughs> until we knew. <laughs> until, until the first late. ten minutes. <laughs> Mulan was terrible. There, Mulan was so much hype. Hey man, but Raya, 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 comes, out, Raya, Raya comes out what tonight? Tomorrow? Tonight, oh, tonight, snap. Midnight or something like that. I get my TV tomorrow. Oh, I'm gonna watch it like it's meant Ooh. to be watched in the movie theaters, but not really. Yeah, I got oh. I got a new TV, man. You get a hundred inch? No, seventy something. Ooh. Oh, nice. Yeah, yeah. Ooh. Fancy. Yeah. I'm not bragging. I'm just saying. Congrats. Thank no. you, man. I'm not bragging. Nothing. I'm just saying was, that I'm. I'm just saying y'all. it's got a seventy-seven inch OLED. You know, just. No, <laughs> top of the line. Top of the line. Uh, I just got one too. I couldn't. I couldn't fit a seventy though. I had to go sixty-five, unfortunately. Oh man, 
Max is the one with like an 85 Small inch TV. So. 85, man. This is over there, 85. Yeah, you're all there quiet, but you know, you know, you have the city <clears throat> one in your house. Yeah, Sonos. like Sonos, surround sound. Sonos, surround sound. It's the best, snap. man. Yeah, yeah. My yeah, house yeah, shakes dude. when I watch it. It shakes with Tom and Jerry. I was like, oh, <laughs> oh, oh. Because it does, uh, yeah. I think it did do like Dolby Vision they surround. Do Dolby, they did Dolby. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So I was like, oh, they spent some money on this. This is going to be good. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. Nope. Well, hopefully, you mean Raya's coming out. Well, we're gonna be talking about it next week. Mm-hmm. High hopes. Mm-hmm. And if it sucks, <laughs> we'll, we'll be here again. It's okay. We'll have what? It's because okay. because Godzilla's coming out, and then it's gonna be great. And, and WandaVision in tonight too. <laughs> yeah. So look, look. There's plenty of stuff that's gonna shake your couch. Oh, literally. Oh, <laughs> oh bro. <laughs> When the couch no. is shaking. <laughs> <laughs> Poor choice right. of words. Uh, anyway, well, with that, we're out. Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. Godzilla's whoa. still been laughing Kong, and he did it in such a cooler <laughs> way now where he stepped on his chest and was like, what up? Do something, bitch. Later. <laughs> whoa, <laughs> later. Peace. <laughs> Thank you for listening. If you like this podcast, please give us a star, heart, or leave us a review. You can follow us on Twitch, Twitter, or YouTube at Popstomp Podcast. That's P-U-B-S-T-O-M-P-O-D-Cast. For more episodes, go to anchor.fm slash Pubstomp. Music provided by 99Lives. Credits are in the episode description. <laughs>